Hi, I'm Brian Heerwagen, CEO of the Standards of Excellence in Short-Term Mission, or SOE for short. And I'm Tori Ruark, Chief Operations Officer of SOE. We're partnering with Jews for Jesus and Behold Your God 2018 to help you prepare for your trip. To get you ready, you'll be receiving a Goer's Handbook and a devotional if you haven't already, in addition to these videos. Our hope is that you'll be prepared with more than just a packing list and a plane ticket. Through these training videos, you'll be asked to prepare spiritually and emotionally, while we'll be preparing you for the logistics and the culture. But before we jump in, we have a couple of very important people for you to meet. Shalom everyone, my name is Dan Sered and I am the Israel Director of uh, Jews for Jesus here in Israel. And uh, we are very excited about you coming in and serving with us in Jerusalem as part of the Jerusalem Outreach. And um, I'm serving as an uh, overall um, oversight and supervision for all of the teams and for the entire outreach. So I'm really looking forward to meeting you in person in Jerusalem. And um, welcome to this uh, training part of your adventure. And there's a few videos that you're gonna watch and you have the, the manuals. And uh, we're just really excited um, about you coming and uh, seeing what God is gonna do uh, through us and in us um, during this outreach in Jerusalem. So um, if you have any questions, um, feel free to, uh, to contact us, to talk to your team leaders and um, they know who to contact, but uh, we really hope and pray that this would be a meaningful experience for you as we seek to uh, make disciples in Jerusalem, in Israel, um, this coming year. So uh, thank you so much, and I'll see you soon. Shalom. My name is Bob Mendelson. I'm the Director of Jews for Jesus here in Sydney, Australia, and the Captain of the Service Sector for Behold Your God Jerusalem. Thank you for signing up. Thanks for participating with us. And as you watch these videos over the course of the next while, however you break them up, I pray that you and the team there will be benefited, will learn, will appropriate what you need so that when you hit the ground there in Jerusalem, that you'll be ready to serve the Jewish people and see what God will do in using you to affect his kingdom on this earth. It's going to be a joy to work together. Shalom. Some years ago, there were a couple of friends who had planned to go to a soccer match together. It was a really big game, and they were extremely excited to go. As the day of the match drew near, they made plans to be off work and go down to the stadium with plenty of time to get in and find their seats. They even went out and bought a shirt and a scarf for their favorite team. Finally, the day came. The two friends met up and went down to the stadium. As they stood in line, one friend asked the other for his ticket. The second friend looked at the first in confusion and said he didn't have the tickets. He thought his friend was getting them. After going back and forth, they realized that despite all their preparations for the big game, they had forgotten the most important part, the tickets. The way that many people prepare for a mission trip is not so very different. We apply for passports and visas, prepare for ministry activities, pack our bags, and forget the most important part, to prepare spiritually. In this first video, we want to consider how we'll grow in character and prepare spiritually for your trip. We talk about it first because it's first priority. In John 15, 5, Jesus says, I am the vine and you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. No matter how well we prepare, if we don't abide in Christ, our service will be fruitless. The best thing you can do to prepare for your mission trip is to grow in character and spiritual maturity, in short, to become like Christ. But when we say to become like Christ, what does that mean really? As you prepare, I want to challenge you to become a person of prayer and of the Word, to become a loving person and a humble servant. When this video is over, you and your team have two pieces of homework. First, make a plan as a team to spend time in prayer. Not just to start a meeting, but plan unhurried time to go before the throne of God together. Spend this time before the trip teaching your heart to bend towards God, so that in all things your first reaction will be to turn to God in prayer. As a team, you'll get to show God's love by humbly serving others on your trip, but why wait? How can your team begin showing God's love through humble service now? Make a plan to begin serving together now so you're ready to serve together on your trip. 
Your second piece of homework is this, to get alone with God and ask Him where you need to grow individually. Do you treasure God and long for His presence in prayer? Do you live on God's Word as your bread of life or depend on other sources for sustenance and strength? Do you love and serve yourself or others? How might God want to grow you as you prepare for the trip? I encourage you to take to heart and maybe even memorize Philippians 2, 5 through 8, where it says, Have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Being able to go on a mission trip like this one is an incredible privilege. But as you prepare, you need to remember this is not a road trip or another tour or a vacation. It is a mission trip. And what better example than Jesus as we look to see how he served while he was on earth. He came here to serve and not to be served. He came to heal and not to be healed. And so like that, this trip is not about you. It's about the message of Christ. And this needs to affect all that you say and how you act. Now we're going to be coming from a lot of different churches and denominations, cultures, and even countries. And so spiritual and cultural training is going to help us as we agree on our objectives together, as we share the same vocabulary, and as we work toward unity and a powerful service for the Lord. And that's what these videos are about. We're already praying for you and all of us that our ministry will be all that God wants it to be.